Good morning and welcome to Almas Market Mornings, your daily dose of global financial updates. Well, the holiday season isn't over yet and markets are mostly in a slumber. However, sparks of geopolitical tensions are keeping things alive, with Israeli strikes setting a top Iranian military leader in Syria. Good morning, Pankaj. Great to have you back. Uh, your thoughts on markets and uh, whether there can be fresh geopolitical triggers uh, due to the Israeli actions. Uh, thanks, Saraj. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, we actually entered into a global holiday uh, period. Uh, markets are kind of a liquid. Uh, as I understand, there is a kind of a 20% population in the dating room now. And maybe till 5th of January or 6th of January, they will continue like that. So with respect to your question on a uh, geopolitical scenario, these are the incidents which will keep happening. And these are probably, according to our research analyst, Matthew, who says that these are the incidents which are on the sideways and on the sidelines. Uh, to attract attention, but they, that won't be spoiling too much of a, a financial market uh, scenario, which basically, as of now, expecting a, a weak dollar and uh, a kind of a uh, base metals and other risk commodities and everything taking a rally uh, because of a coming scenario of a hefty interest rate cuts by the global market, uh, global central banks. Uh, coming back to Indian markets, as for the Indian markets, we have been seeing a kind of a slight expansion in the daily range of a dollar rupee. Uh, I'm not very sure whether central bank has started loosening their uh, tight management policy of uh, FX management. But yes, uh, in previous weeks where we are seeing a 4, 5, 6 pesos offer range, we have moved to a 10, 12 pesos offer range. Let's see how it uh, moves on from here. Uh, this is definitely there that um, RBI is very, very clear that they will be trying to protect 83. Uh, it, they will be protecting 83, 30, 83, 40 uh, for kind of a visible uh, period of a time. We, our view is that uh, looking at the overall uh, scenario on a weak outlook, TXY and the good amount of a flow, which is uh, due to uh, effect, uh, bond inclusion, uh, overall FDI inflows, and relatively a better market uh, and uh, election scenario, which is political scenario, which is clearing up uh, in coming days where the probably uh, market is pricing that the ruling government will get the right to rule uh, the country again uh, in the next for the next five years as well. Very early to say, but that's the that's the thing as of now emerging. If we look at the flows, uh, the past week we have seen a flow of again 3.16 uh, billion in addition to previous week inflow of a 3.56 billion. And in months itself, we have seen a kind of a USD 9.3 billion. And I'm all, only talking about the FDI flows, the most of the money coming in equities. This year we have seen a, a flow of a $28 billion, which is basically uh, more than the last two years outflow for USD 22 billion. So the money is uh, through FPI rules, we are seeing a good amount of money coming in into Indian markets, both uh, bonds and equities have attracted money this year. Where the, where the FDI monies have been uh, basically uh, receding, we have not seen a good amount of FDI money. According to the latest uh, printed numbers, uh, between April to September, we have only seen 4.5 uh, billion of our dollars in flow against the 19.6 billion dollar in the same period uh, previous year. Our FX reserves are also getting now more comfortable. We have reached to a level of a six, $616 uh, a billion dollars on a FX reserve assets, uh, an overall increase of a closure to $9 billion in the recent week. Most of it looks like will had come through a, a dollar weakness because the euro, GBP, and gold prices increase have contributed to the reserves. But RBI is on the lower levels. They are also building up uh, dollar reserves. Lower levels basically means even 10 to 15 pesos are lower. Also, they are kind of a uh, propensity to buy uh, dollars. So kind of a, a very range bound uh, dollar rupee as of now. But uh, there's an important thing which uh, I keep tracking is uh, what is the forward numbers of RBI and the last release number of October month, uh, which basically indicates that the RBI is short dollars, uh, closer to $18 billion. So uh, combined FX reserves and this, uh, there would be a, a reserve numbers would be a little lower. MPC minutes have been also released last week and members were optimistic on the growth led by investments and sustained fall in core inflation. Uh, people keep looking at, uh, members also keep looking at the uh, food price inflation, which they are basically worried that that may re-emerge again. So as of now, you know, we don't expect any kind of a policy rate change uh, not prior to June 2024. I expect it might happen somewhere in August, October, not even in June. Yeah, 
last week also on friday also we have seen a pc inflation release number in us and which basically increased slightly 0.1% for the month and the number was 3.2 you know on a year on year versus expectation of 0.1 and 3.3 respectively what what is the looking at the extrapolation of a number if you look at the rental inflation the way it is continuing it is expected that this pc number will reach fed target of a 2% somewhere in next 4 5 months uh, in the us uh, if you look at the bond market looking uh, looking bond market in us looking at these inflation numbers which is hovering around the recent lows and heightened missions missions service expected on inflation and crude oil prices are coming up uh, in us bonds looks uh, overbought and there is a good uh, there is a good chance and good probability that they will they might correct and now on the higher side we are expecting 10 years to move around 4.05% in coming week currencies we have seen on the friday evening that the again euro moved above 1.10 and gbp moved above 1.27 it they are trying to break an important resistance of 1.1050 gbp 1.2750 and dollar yen moved lower 1.141 in all these will keep a dollar depressed and a break of a 1.101.70 on dollar index will take a further lower a further higher these currencies uh, on a dollar p we expect that uh, this week we will be probably will be in the range of 83 and 8335 i expect that there is a good probability that will break 83 also and we will close somewhere closer to 82 85 82 90. Uh, that's all from me thanks a lot thank you uh, thank you, Pankaj. And uh, just quickly summarizing uh, what you mentioned about incidents, uh, the geopolitical incidents that will keep happening and uh, they seem to be on the sidelines to attract attention uh, and should not spoil the financial market scenario. For Indian markets, we saw a slight expansion in the daily range of USD INR. MPC minutes is suggesting uh, good investment led growth and fallen core, uh, fall core inflation, while the US PCE inflation. While it increased slightly on a month-on-month -month basis, the rental inflation figure is indicating a return to uh, the Fed target levels in four to five months. But the overall theme right now remains of a dollar weakness. That's it from us today. Thanks for listening. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the latest in the financial markets.